Okay, you guys, holy cow, we have a lot to go today. Yesterday, I took out the toilet in the boat. That was kind of disgusting. It's nice when it's your toilet, not someone else's. Tom got the little green boat set up. We had an awesome night, less productive than we had hoped. So today, we have double the work. We have to build shelves on the top and inside. We have to get the bed set up. We have to get everything prepped for Bob. Bob is my buddy, he's a marine mechanic. He's coming tomorrow to make sure that the motor is good, that we have the fuel filters that we're set up and ready to do this crazy journey. Have you ever wanted to get out of the office and have an adventure? Well, I found my dream boat and I had no excuses left. Hi, my name is Daryl. Check out some of my wildest adventures. This is me, this is me, and this is me as well. After serving in the Canadian Coast Guard for years on boats just like this, I decided to buy my own and sail around the world. This channel is my passion project where I outfit my boats for extreme conditions and put them to the test. First up, Canada to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico in the stormy season. So stay tuned and subscribe as I embark on the worldwide dinghy ride. go to uh, get some plywood we've got a couple shelves to build we'll see what I come out with but uh, yeah that's the update Tom's asleep I'm up I'm antsy and I'm just trying to get ready to get this boat going our mechanic Bob he'll be back tomorrow or this evening and I want to have some things done so he doesn't look and go what have you you've done nothing since I've been away so we've pretty much done nothing I've been really busy it's the last couple days and I have to get ready now Plus, I just want to get on the road and enjoy every moment I can out there. So, Tom's doing his studying for um, his captain's license and I'm getting the boat ready. It's gonna be so amazing once we can get out of here. I think we're two days away if everything goes smooth with Bob helping us. We need to get an inverter installed. We need to get a few other things, um, spotlights and stuff like that on the roof and some strapping so yeah wish us luck we're gonna kill it okay we're at slags let's go in let's see if we can get some plastic plywood or something to make those shelves i don't think they're gonna have what we want we may end up walking out with plywood but let's give it a go let's get some backup good morning good <laughs> good morning um, can you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to build that shelf above the drivers, like the driver and passenger seats. Can you run outside yep. and grab the tape measure and see how wide it is? Because I think I have the perfect like metal piece to go across. 46, 46 and a half inch. From inside that shelf ledge. Yeah. 46 and a half. Okay. Okay, thanks dude. Do you, want, um, do you want the other way as well? No. Well, sure, why not? Give me an idea of what we want, but I think it's a couple feet maybe. Well, from the from the back edge to halfway through, halfway down the window where the angle changes is 35 inches. Yeah, that's the whole way, well, right? You, there's, there's, there's no point going there because you can't reach that far anyway. No, you just need to do like a foot and a half at the back. One more, so, okay. Well, let me see what I can come up with. Okay. See you, Tom. See you in a bit. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Okay, so I'm gonna get a 48 incher, cut it down, and that's gonna be our support bar. It's gonna work out nicely. This is it, this is what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna mount this, and then use that as support um, for the little shelf. I think it's gonna work awesome, but we have a long way to go and a lot left to figure out it takes so long to prep i just went i got some things from precision sales they're closed but i went in and grabbed what i needed and i got the plywood i'm going to start building some shelves for extra storage for tom and i on the way down so that's one of my tasks today 
and I think I'm ready. I think I have all the stuff and a plan up here. We'll see how that works out. Uh, let's go do this. A little cold, Tom? A little bit, yeah. It loves it all. We're just working on the shelves. Tom is freezing to death. <laughs> um, it's not that cold. It is cold. It is kind of cold. It's pretty cold. It, yeah. Well, if you're used to Central America, it's pretty cold. What is it, five degrees Celsius? And he has his first pair of sweatpants on. My hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> Your balaclava and his gloves. <laughs> and I'm still cold. We've just been prepping. We've got a couple shelves going on here. Just painting them so they look good and they're sealed. We're gonna put one in the front so we can just jam bags above our feet and in the roof. So I can't believe I measured that one actually at once. You mean you got it right? Yeah, it's not a normal thing. <laughs> <laughs> Usually that doesn't happen, so. <laughs> Just a little simple shelf made out of plywood, painted black, nothing quick. Done. Hopefully Bob shows up to work tomorrow. We're so close to getting the boat in the water. We've been painting shelves, we put some new shelves in. Um, we're waiting to get a motor bracket welded for the transom tomorrow and a once over on the motors. After that, we're hoping to load the mattress, load all of our gear, and get this thing floating. It's coming along slowly. The one thing I wanted to mention, this is the bracket. At the very top, if we can either fold or create a like half inch lip, so the lip would actually bend towards the front of the boat, the same direction as the tab. We just need that lip on the top so that the motor, when the motor is mounted, it just needs to be enough to stop these discs that we crank down by hand from sliding up in any event it'll hit that piece and stop it from sliding. We're just measuring a mount for the dinghy engine. So the welder's on it. We've got a lot to do. We still have to put in the plotter, seal some hatches, like there's a lot. We're gonna try and get it done in one day and Tom and I are going to organize and finish packing and lay everything out. Really excited, we're getting to the last minute. We've spent day after day working. Yesterday, Tom cut the foam. Bob was helping doing all the wiring. We did an awesome job and the welder came back for the tower this morning, the roof rack that we're putting on. So we're getting so close. I've done all the final paperwork for crossing the border, I think. We'll see. That's it. Let's see what's going on. Hello again. So I've got a bunch of little jobs to do today. Um, one of them is just replacing one of these inspection hole, one of these basically. So it's a pretty basic little job. I had to pull that out because um, basically it was broken and it was leaking onto our new bed where we're going to be sleeping on this trip. So yeah, first thing I'm going to do is chuck it in there, mark it and pre-drill it. Always when you're putting a screw into fiberglass, you always pre-drill it. And I always make sure the drill bit is slightly smaller than my thread of my screw. Slightly smaller. If you don't do that, it's going to bite, it's going to grab and you're going to break these screws, especially stainless steel. So here we go. Okay, so that's that. Now I am going to cock it, uh, making sure that I um, fill in those old holes because the holes didn't line up between the old uh, inspection cap and the new one. So I had to drill new ones. Um, so I'm gonna make sure I fill those while I cock it. So here we go. And there you go. Another little five minute job. One of those little annoying ones out of the way. And Bob here is just doing, uh, fixing in the VHF radio. Oh, there. <laughs> Did there we go. What time is it? Lunch time. It's 
three in the afternoon. I'm doing lighting on the, on the roof. Tom is helping Bob out. They're running wires because for some reason the bilge did not have an auto float and I just, I don't like that. So um, yeah, we changed that. We've got the dinghy back on the ground, the tacky cat and on the roof we've just about finished installing the roof rack we're almost there doug's working on a big plate for the outboard motor okay we just finished up at canadian tire actually i did tom's still fixing the boat i have a couple storage bins memory foam pillows extra blankets toilet seat Anyways, we're off. We're gonna do the final things. I am so friggin' excited. Tomorrow, we go from Victoria, BC, down to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Tom and I are gonna have the best time ever. I am so excited. Let's do this. There's so much. There, it's like endless. Look at that. We have a domestic fridge. We have like six sleeping bags. We got our stereo, our EPIRB I'm gonna mount. Lots of rubber boots, everything for the West Coast. New bed sheets. I don't know, we have a lot of stuff going on, Tom. Big Daryl's personal, we're a bit scared of what's in there. Fire extinguishers, tapes, first aid kits, batteries, cables, fishing gear, fuel tanks, fridge freezer, we got dive gear, along with the spare gun over oh, there. Generator. We got generator. Fish hooks. We got a barbecue. We've got I don't even know what's in there, I haven't labeled it. <laughs> oh, that's our tool bin. Extras and oils and hardware. Let's label that. And the tacky cat. All right, so now we're gonna start loading. Let's go. Right, here I am in, on Vancouver Island, BC, Canada, where we're about to take this boat to Mexico. This is my 733 Zodiac. It was made in Richmond, British Columbia, Canada in 1995, fully renovated. We have a two-stroke 300 Evinrude on the back, which is gonna be amazing for weight. We have satellite, inverter, everything is decked out, and we have a dinghy on this dinghy. Call this what do they call it? The Pacific Graveyard. Yeah. Wreck here, wreck here, wreck here. So this is no joke. The Columbia River Bar is a wild ride. I was right. <laughs> Roger that. Stand by channel 16 over. That was pretty fucked up for a little bit there, I must say. I was I was panicking. I don't actually know if we're in trouble, but I don't think we've done anything wrong. 